Hello everybody, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. And today I'm in a slightly different venue. Here I am at my dining room, or dining room table at least, um, which is part of my lounge. And I have in front of me here an opened parcel from Maison Fauve. And I wanted to take you through the next glorious projects I have so that I hopefully can inspire you to check out the Maison Fauve website and see what they've got going on, um, which is always something new uh, and very exciting. So as you know, I am an ambassador for Maison Fauve, um, which is just a fabulous thing, but I did buy some of the um, items are, that are in the package here, um, uh, but they've just been very kind and generous um, to me. Um, part of their ambassadorship, um, but also part of the friendship that we have too, which is just lovely. I am wearing today one of their latest patterns. This is the pom-pom waistcoat. Let me put a photo um, or a video or something um, to show you this. Now this pattern is completely free. You can download it um, from their website. Um, anyone can um, access this. And I will say that Maison Fauve have got some amazing free patterns. There's a beautiful blouse, there's a hat that I made last year. Obviously now um, we've got the lovely waistcoat. Um, there are several different um, free patterns on there. I believe they do one a year and this is their latest one. Um, so I will have been putting on Instagram at some stage in the next day or so um, a bit of a reel and a, a whole series of photos about this pom-pom waistcoat because it's part of a competition they're running um, with lots of brilliant prizes so I'm definitely entering my pom-pom but I can't wait to share these um, these projects with you so um, it all comes beautifully wrapped and it smells absolutely heavenly Oh, it's just lovely. Um, and I was listening to um, the So Mindful podcast recently, which if you haven't heard it, please do, because um, Emily is on the So Mindful podcast. Bear in mind, um, she is French. It's one of the f first um, e um, English interviews she's done, and it is phenomenal. So the reason I mention the fragrance is because in that podcast, she mentions some of the things that are coming up in the Maison Fauve world. And very excitingly, perfume is on the horizon so I, I don't know any more details than what I heard on the podcast but that sounds amazing and if it smells as good as this lot then it's a win-win situation so um, in no particular order I'm going to take you through um, what I purchased and what I've been provided as an ambassador um, yeah it's ah oh, just I'm speechless. So I kick off, um, so I've chosen a few patterns um, and I uh, you know that I am obsessed with making jackets. Um, in fact, as I video this um, film, I'm actually making a Pilar jacket. Um, let me put the stock photo of the Pilar just in here for you. Um, I've made the Pilar out of a beautiful jacquard before from Maison Fauve, and this time I'm making it a, um, in a green denim um, uh, to go with some aisle jeans that I've made. So obsessed about making jackets. No end in sight for this. This is the Neige Libra jacket um, and it's just such a simple style. Let me show you the line drawings there um, and I will put the stock photo up in case that's not too visible but it is glorious. You've got a number of styles. You can go for a short style or a longer style and both of them have got this lovely um, sort of edge here. Look at those beautiful designs absolutely glorious um, so I chose this because I just think it's going to be a beautiful spring jacket it's an open it's open no closures on this um, or anything like that and it goes all of the base on five patterns um, go for the size 34 which is a chest of 80 a waist of 60 centimeters and hips of 88 to um, a size 52 which is 122 um, chest 102 waist and 128 um, weight on the waist. So um, good full size range there. Um, and this takes, if you were going for, let me look here, I've got the long version um, is between two meters and two meters 60, um, and the, fab, um, the shorter version would be between 140 and 200 centimeters of fabric. So, oh, 
cannot wait to make that. And this is fully lined. Um, you could just bind the facing and leave it unlined as well. Um, and then it's got patch pockets on the long, longer version. Very excited about that. Um, this is uh, this is the um, the robe transant, um, and this was actually released last year as part of their collection. And it's a super simple, brilliant for summertime um, dress. It's got these glorious pleats across across the um, the shoulders there, which is absolutely stunning. Um, and I just think it's going to be such a simple design, sort of um, the sort of pattern where you could just let the fabric do all of the talking. Again, let me pop a stock photo in um, just here for you so you can see the, um, the beautiful Emily in, in the transant dress. Um, I've actually got in mind to make a more winter weight version of this. Um, I bought some lovely uh, Viscose twill from the Knitting and Stitching show and I think this would be perfect for that, so stay tuned. Um, again, the size range there. and This is described as uh, the transat dress is perfect for summer sewing, um, for lounging by the water, easy and quick to sew. It does not lack charm. Uh, the bust is constructed with nice pleat on the shoulders and the neckline is embellished with a front and back V um, and it has a nice belt to sit in the middle that brings sophistication to the piece, um, comfortable to wear and smooth line and belted waistline. So very excited about that one. Um, then um, I got um, a beautiful postcard here um, from um, from the team and I have to say, look, this is so sweet. I've got some couple of messages on here um, and this is very sweet. Um, this is for, it says here, um, happy 50th birthday, Cara. Um, thank you for everything. Um, you, uh, thank you for everything. Um, here's to a fantastic, another f fantastic 50, um, 50 year, 50 year, so, start again. Here's to a fantastic 50th year, sorry. Um, that was from Amanda. Amanda is um, uh, the uh, sort of social media um, correspondent uh, for Mason Faux, as well as many, many other things. She's also features as a model as well. Um, and then beautiful, um, uh, it says here, uh, happy birthday, Cara, with love from Emily, um, who is the owner of Maison Faux. So thank you very much to you guys. And look at this. This is beautiful. They've included some samples. So this is the rouge, um, the rouge fabric that I made my solid floor out of. And then there's beautiful couple samples here of the wonderful lace that they sell. It is just exquisite. Um, and look, they've included a pin badge here, which I'm going to put onto my... Um, my uh, pilar jacket it's a beautiful lightning bolt uh, made out of mother of pearl so that is so so sweet of them <coughs> and i look forward to wearing that with pride um then um then there's a parcel here which is so sweet right in the middle of everything else um and i was unaware of this um and <laughs> it's, they've given me a birthday present at I share everything in my life with you guys, so I'm sharing with you um, the sort of unboxing, if you like, of this parcel. I have obviously seen what's in here, but it's so beautifully wrapped. Excuse the rustling. Oh, it smells amazing. Okay. It just smells absolutely fabulous. Let me just pop that to one side. Oh, my word. This dress is absolutely stunning. Look at this. This, um, this packaging now is... Um, is, has sold out um, and won't be replicated. This was part of their Christmas, um, the Christmas sort of range they did, and it's called La, Pro, uh, La Robe Primrose or the Primrose dress. Um, I'm just going to come right in there and show you. Again, I'll put some stock photos in. This has got the most stunning back. Can you see this is an open back here? Um, now, Crafty Pie is also an ambassador for Maison Faux, and um, she created uh, the most beautiful dress um, at Christmas. I hope you had an opportunity to see that. But again, let me put a stock photo in um, just here of um, Emily in this dress. It is amazing. It's got beautiful cuff details, and let me read this to you. It says, uh, the robe primrose... Um, oh, in fact, actually, I can't read that to you because I don't speak French. It is actually in French. Apologies for that. I didn't realise that beforehand. But basically, um, it has got absolutely stunning detail on the cuffs. You've got beautiful pleats on the cuffs here. Um, you've actually got um, 
is a small section of elastic which they've kindly provided and that pulls pulls the back in to give this beautiful silhouette. Now um, I won't be making the backless version um, for obvious reasons that I need a little bit more support than that on the front but it is gloriously elegant um, and it's got a beautiful swishy skirt on it, very full skirt that when Emily's twirling around um, in her uh, videos over on Instagram, you can see how beautiful it is. Um, so please do head over to the, in, their Instagram page to see more details of that. But I look forward to making that up um, very soon. Thank you. Um, and then we moved on to, I, I actually purchased, um, uh, as part of uh, making the Pilar jacket, um, and also some jeans. I'm gonna come right in here. Um, hopefully this will focus okay. Um, I bought some beautiful buttons. Uh, they've actually got Maison Faux written on them and a lovely dark copper, which is superb. Um, I also wanted to put onto this waistcoat, um, but I think, it was, um, I think I confused them with my order. There were some beautiful black buttons here. Can you see those um, with the gold around them? I think I must have confused them in my order because I did order a few more to put onto this waistcoat, but that's okay. Um, so I, I can't do that at the moment, but I'll rectify that in the near future. Um, and then they kindly provided me with these gorgeous gold dome buttons, which are actually the same as the ones I've got on my um, on my my coat, uh, the the tigress coat. Sorry, went out my head there for a second, didn't it? So. Honestly, the haberdashery that um, em Emily um, personally designs to go with her products is just second to none. Then very excitingly, just on the horizon, you'll know that Maison Fauve um, always release their patterns in paper format for, the, for at least the first 18 months um, of their collection. Um, and then they release the patterns um, available onto PDF after a period of time and very excitingly there is a particular pattern range that is coming so let me share the details with you. So I'm delighted to say that the Empire State of Fauve which is the collection from about 18 months ago is about to be released on PDF. Now um, I'm not sure the time scales uh, of my video coming out but certainly by the end of February, beginning of March, the whole collection of the Empire State of Fauve will be available. And within that collection, there are some absolutely superb patterns. Now, I have made the Brooklyn trousers. Um, let me put my photo in there, or maybe the stock photo. They are just the loveliest pair of trousers. Um, I'm also going to be making the Chelsea blouse. Let me share that a stock photo there. Um, and actually, from my stash, I, I don't really make twirls, but um, with the green denim I'm making, I can't wait to make the Chelsea blouse out of this beautiful orange. Now, this is quite a heavyweight crepe. Um, this is actually given to me by um, the lady who ran, ran the sewing retreat. Her mum was de-stashing some fabrics and um, said, would we like to have it? Um, and I just think that's going to be amazing with the dark green. And I think the structure of this fabric will hold the pleats of the Chelsea blouse. Let me put the photo there. So that is very exciting. Um, and then very kindly, um, uh, Emily and Amanda asked if there was a pattern that I would like to make from the um, uh, from the Maison State of Fauve collection, um, and excuse me, <coughs> oh, sorry, and um, I would love to make the Metropolis jacket. <gasps> Stock photo here. Look at the details on this jacket. Now. This is a major make. Um, I would say it's advanced. Um, however, I have watched the sew along because um, uh, all of the patterns come with the sew along. And if you just take it in steps, then it's absolutely fine. I am really excited about making this. It even has, um, it even has some 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 items of haberdashery that I've never even seen before. So these are part of the shoulder um, padding. And actually, it has actually got shoulder pads because um, it's got that real, um, the Empire State of Fauve is set around uh, sort of a New York, sort of 1940s-esque, um, uh, sort of real sharp 
um, designer wear. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and yeah, got shoulder pads in here as well, as well as, as, well as the, um, these parts, which is going to be very exciting. But let me share the fabric. Oh, look at this. This fabric is absolutely divine. Um, this is called um, Loop. Um, let me just get the details in a second and come back to you. I should have stuck to my guns. I was right. It's so frustrating when my head just... Um, this is called the Loop Encre, E-N-C-R-E. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, Jacquard fabric. And it is heavenly. Look at the design on that. Let me just open that out a little bit for you. Um, so you can see, see on one side, you've got the, obviously that's the reverse side. And then this is just absolutely heavenly. Now I've got black on today. Um, and I would say once you've got up against, um, once you're up against pure black, this is actually a really deep navy. But at a glance, it looks black, if that makes sense. It's like a midnight. It's absolutely divine. So let me put the stock photo back up of the Metropolis. And then you have to imagine these beautiful buttons. Sorry about the rustling here. All the way down the front. So these gold, beautiful gold buttons on, on this jo um, loop fabric is going to be sensational. Now the Metropolis is a fully lined jacket. Um, and they've kindly provided me with this gorgeous gorgeous coloured fabric here so this is a lovely um how would you describe it? Oh, sort of khaki green which it looks absolutely amazing um as a as a lining to this fabric which is absolutely stunning so i can't wait to make that um and i've given myself a bit of a deadline depending on when um the pattern arrives because it's coming by a pdf and hasn't been released yet um, as i'm filming today i'm actually off to the chanel exhibition on the 3rd of march so depending on whether um chanel exhibition is at the vna in london it'll be the last week of the show and i'm going along there with some friends and i thought oh, how lovely would it be to wear the metropolis jacket just with the simple simple top and um, black jeans I think would just look amazing and then the final project that I've got coming up with Maison Fauve actually relates to the pattern that I purchased um, and this is back to get the Neige, uh, the Neige Libre jacket um, so I'm going to be making that out of this glorious jacquard let me just move the tissue and oh, no, I can't see this glorious jacquard fabric. Oh my word, this is absolutely stunning. Look at this. So all of these fabrics are still available on their um, on their website. And this, it's just absolutely divine. It's got, I don't think it's gonna come up on the screen. It's actually got a, a sort of a, a slight shimmer. Um, if I show you on the reverse, hopefully you can see there that it's actually woven with a beautiful blue sparkle um, all the way through it, sort of blue and silver sparkle, which on, on the front just slightly shimmers. I do hope that's coming up. That's absolutely beautiful. And they've kindly provided me with a glorious, um, a glorious lining here as well, um, which just is absolutely exquisite. So... I'm definitely going to be a busy lady. Um, tell me what you think. What would you dive into first? Would you make a, a dress, a, a simple dress? Um, you know I've got a time scale, self-inflicted time scale for the Metropolis jacket there. Or would you go for the mage and think of spring days ahead? I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Um, let me know your thoughts and let me know if you're making a Maison Fauve project. I love it when I hear about what you're up to and what you're making. Um, I, yeah, it just fills my heart with joy. So I hope you've got some lovely plans, whatever you're up to. Um, keep me posted. Please don't, like, don't forget to like and subscribe because I absolutely love to know you're there. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everybody.